What's up, Solid Steppers? What's up, Tech the Titans 2.0? This is Miss Ward coming to you right now. I'm leaving Kingsland, Georgia. I'm actually headed down to Jacksonville, Marcon, to grab some parts to take care of clients here in St. Mary's in Kingsland, just getting it in, taking it one day at a time. Then I'll be headed back over to the other coast, the pan, the handle. You know it. With that said, you know, I just want to talk about how people just need to stay consistent. They need to stay on their journey and they need to stay true to themselves. You know, I was talking to, I'm always talking to my round table and, um, you know, I watched the development and growth and, um, I watch people release the things that are holding them back, including people, mindsets and things of that nature. And I think it's important to always be growing, always be polishing your game mentally, spiritually, emotionally and otherwise. But I think it's so important that you've got to stay focused. You know, I was blessed enough uh, when I was riding through Jacksonville to meet a young man. And, um, you know, I was just showing him some of the things, some of the opportunities and some of the things in person um, that a lot of times I don't get to do with my subscribers. And I appreciate the people who watch me because, you know, this is not something I'm doing for money because at the end of the day, um, I'm sharing information, you know, and hopefully a thing or two you pick up might be able to help you or you can take it and modify it into something that works for you. Because I always want everyone to win, particularly if you have pure intentions, because, you know, a lot of people, we're just trying to figure it out. We're trying to find a way and make a way and be consistent. And I think, in fact, I know one of the things that hold, hold people up, including myself, is um, getting comfortable. You know, when you're making multiple six figures and at this particular point in this industry, if you've been in it for a couple of years and I'm talking about two or three. And if you stayed on top of your tech game, you're starting to realize that uh, it really is not as hard once you invest in your training and your skill set. One reason why you always hear me talk about skilling up is because the only way you're going to win is you not only got to be good at what you got to do, but you got to be certain because you're going to run into situations and you're going to run into challenges uh, and things of that nature. But you can get out of them easier by staying focused on what you need to do and being focused on the basics. You know, what I find is a lot of times people overthink things. They find themselves in situations that they could have avoided simply because they don't understand the fundamentals. And you'll hear me say this over and over again. And prime example, when you hear me talk about learning schematics, did I, am I saying you got to be a pro? No. But what I am saying is you have to have a basic understanding. So when you are forced to read a schematic, because you will be, whether you like it or not, you, I mean, because you got two choices. Learn how to read schematics or keep having several recalls or going back and forth trying to make it make sense when it don't. The only way it's going to make sense is for you to continue to apply. Really? You really not going to let me get these some of the dumbest backwards ass. Bruh. Y'all can tell them on the highway. Y'all cousin from Vermont with they slow ass up here. See me trying to get on. Had all this room to get over, but instead of getting over, he just going to, like, run me off the road. That's okay, though. We're going to pray for him, y'all. Let's just give a moment of silence to keep his war from whooping their ass in the fit of road rage. And that's one thing y'all love about me is because I'm real as they come. You know, I am not sugarcoating who I am as a person, flaws and alls, and, and all, because at the end of the day, we all go win, you know? I just think some people just stupid. Like they don't, I don't know where they got their damn license from. Kindergarten, romper room, or McDonald's. One of the two. This is dumb as hell. Um, but you know, these are the challenges you got to deal with. You know, at the end of the day, you want to learn your, that, you want to learn schematics because you want to be able to diagnose issues. Because a lot of, you have to understand, you take an appliance like Samsung, it has a basic schematic and they build everything on top of it, like point blank. You know, Samsungs, whether it be refrigerators, whether it be dryers, all these things are sensor driven.
when you understand the sensors are communicating with the control board or micon board or whatever you want to call it then you move accordingly you know you understand certain things you understand that when you have a thermistor that's dropping to certain temps in the refrigerator that is communicating with the board the temperature and then the board is telling the fan to either cut on cut off you know it's telling the um, you know compressor to pump more uh, freon into the fresh food department like it ain't that hard y'all it's really not when you look at these dryers and they have issues with these thermistors and they start and shut off start and shut off and then you break it down and find out that the monster the meister is covered with uh, moisture and it's failed so it's not reading properly and sending information to the board for the unit to start properly or remain running how do you know this you don't know this until you step out of being a parts changer into becoming a technician and it's nothing wrong with that see at the end of the day all these people that got here saying oh i knew it by the book from the beginning they lying to your ass because it's human nature to be to follow pattern recognition. That's just and because it's the least past of, re, of resistance. The reality is to guess, you know. And no one wants to admit that. But I am always a big proponent of getting in the field, and whatever challenges you run into. What's up, Florida? What's up, uh, Governor DeSantis? Y'all be man, look. Y'all stop hating on my governor. He being baby Trump, let him be baby Trump. That's his thing. Ain't no, hey, it's America. Do what you want to do. Um, but at the end of the day, like I said, y'all got to understand and have some grace with yourself, but also own the fact you don't know. And it's okay. You know, a lot of times you might want people to explain. Let me tell you something. In my round table alone, these guys used to get sick of me. When I say sick of me, because I would sit down and study and not understand something and get frustrated. I'd pick up the phone and call them. I said, I need you to break this down to me like a fifth grader because I need to understand this dynamic. I need to understand the theory behind it so that when I am triaging and when I am attempting to come up with a proper solution that I um, don't want to like walk outside and blow my blah, blah, blah out. You feel me? As y'all know, YouTube be grind, be man. Look, we I ain't gonna say nothing. We know what it is, but the reality is, you really gotta get out here. You gotta grind, but you gotta grind on purpose and grind with a plan. Does it have to be a perfect plan? Let me tell you something. The wonderful, in the wonderful, in the in a perfect world, we would all go to sleep, write down a top ten to do list. And then sleep on that overnight, let our subconscious mind order our steps, wake up in the morning, recheck that list, fine tune it if we need to, and set out to the day and accomplish that and then some. You follow me? That's a perfect world. But in the real world, where we all have challenges because we're human and life is going to keep life in, hey, get it how you live, as the baby say. All right? Do what you got to do to get to the next level in your life because your next level may be the next it might be one step that your no one in your family ever made break them generational curses as we like to say and what and go get you get you not just for you but for your your generations become behind because you know i think about my own situations you know i have uh children that i co-parented throughout my life i have uh my nephews and nieces and my lineage and things of that nature and all I'm thinking about lately is how do I buy this land how do I set up trust how do I put things in place so even though they may not have the skill set or may not be mature enough these things are in order so that even if they mess up they're gonna be all right that it gets passed to the next one and the next one and the next one and that's when you know and that's what i mean about learning things you have like with me i'm really big on uh irrevocable trust and things of that nature of course you got revocable ones that you can go and change and xyz then you got the irre irrevocable ones ain't no changes you set it in stone it is what it is you know but at the end of the day this is not financial advice i'm just telling you some of the things off my 
you know, off the top of my head that I am fully invested in and believe in. And I believe that we come here to get it in, to go to the next le level. Man, these trusts be look, man. Really? Oh, boy, bridges and trucks, boy. That's all I'm gonna say, y'all. I'm a, hey, I'm not knocking because hey, truckers, I love y'all because America's moving forward because of y'all and the sacrifices y'all make and your families. I am never, it's just like the military. I ain't hating no nobody in the military and the armed forces. Let me tell you something. Hey, I appreciate you. Thank you for your service. Anybody listening, a lot of people in my circle are military personnel, former military. And let me tell you, that is not an easy life, um, especially now. It wasn't these easy back then, but the level of discipline you got to have with the distractions going on in the world. Let me, hey, I deal with military personnel. In fact, a lot of my clients in Kingsland are, you know, assigned to that uh, submarine base. And then where I live is the 7th, I think they call it the 7th Squadron or something like that. They special forces. And I don't even play with them folks over there because I'd be like, I, bruh, poker face all day. No emotion. Let me get in. Let me get out. Because I don't know what's going on. Don't want to know. But at the end of the day, y'all got to get out and get exposed. And that's what I love about what I do covering the vast area that I cover I get exposed to different people different walks of life and so I'm not walking around ignorant like how I live what I think is the only thing that works you know and that's why y'all got to get out here and be exposed in appliance repair you got Mr. Mike Reed over there doing a phenomenal job on the commercial side exposing people giving you game now what you do with it is on you and I'm gonna leave it right there just like me, I get you. Look, you go back, look at my older videos. It's so much game, it's it's ridiculous. You know, sometimes I be wanting to wipe it. It's so much free game because you know how I feel about free ninety nine. But I feel like you get what you get until you can get more. And please understand, if it's free, remember you better really understand how to take that stuff and level it up. And when you get all you can out of that. Invest in yourself, invest in a coach or a mentor in an area so you can get some shortcuts, cuts, but vet that coach. Everybody ain't your coach. You know, another shout out to Mr. Uh, Kevin Tate over at Learn to Trade. He has a great program over there on the commercial side. Um, I think it's like 81 bucks a month. I'm not quite sure. I know I have it, so I'm just saying. I don't just talk. I put my money where my mouth is. I support the people I believe in, and um, and I don't do it with my mouth. I do it with my bag, because I'm trying to tell you some of this game out here. It is really underpriced. I tell you guys all the time about TMM the subscription. I tell you all the time about the boxer group. I mean, you got unbelievable support from people who are really in the game and who really are passionate about supporting y'all asses, even when y'all ask them special questions. I'm going to leave you alone, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's you. Come to the table when you did everything you can and then ask for help because that's the only way you're going to get better. Because if you use certain things as a crutch, how are you going to be better as a technician, as a woman, or as a man? Like, let's just have an adult conversation. You have to want to be better. You cannot survive out here with crutches because what do you do when all the crutches are gone? Because they're going to be gone. Trust me. You better suck up this game and I'll be here hustling myself just in case I miss something. I can learn something new because I damn sure don't know everything. But I'm very careful about who I get my information from and I look at the fruit of their labor. If you ain't got nothing to, that, if you, excuse me, if you are not dominating in your area or don't have a track record, I'm not talking to you for support because what, look, we, what we gonna do? Be lost together? figuring out together like that's just like me saying i'm about struggle love i ain't about no struggle love no 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 i'm gonna leave that from youngest to bump their heads and figure it out but for me no 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 so at the end of the day you have to be willing to invest in your growth your development and you gotta love yourself enough and your journey enough to get it in and let me tell you something when you start removing the distractions when you start removing anything that's taken away from your glory and your greatness, bruh, how about it not only get easy, you be looking at yourself like, 
you don't even ask yourself why I didn't do this early. You just be like, shake your head and keep it moving. Because you already know you're the problem and the solution. And all you got to do is learn how to say no. If it don't feel good, don't look good, don't taste good, don't do it. I'm trying to tell you. Your body will tell you when situations, people, places, and things are not right. Now, whether you listen is on you. I don't need that many warnings because I ain't trying to get out here and do uh, several repetitions off of my own self-induced adversity. Y'all know that's my favorite favorite phrase, Sia. Self-induced adversity. Take responsibility. If you got to shed a tear, you got to go through a depression, do what you got to do and then come on out of it. Because the mere fact you got out today and you are six, months, six feet above ground, oh, you winning. I'm here to tell you win it. You got another breath in your lungs to get out here and get it in. You are winning on a monumental level. And you in your right mind. And what could have destroyed you made you stronger? A oh, hope. Let me tell you, not only you win it, you man, the sky's the limit. But you gotta keep your spirits lifted, you gotta keep your, your mind in order. A prime example, I was having such a hard, I ain't going to say bad day because I don't do them, but I was just irritated and it wasn't anything in particular. What it was, was I had a situation that irritated me the night before and I'm one of them people I could not stand um, stuff that I could, you know, I feel like I could avoid it because my gut was one way, but my brain was another so that's why I take responsibility, even when it's something outside myself, simply because I pride myself on looking at the signs before it happens. And when you don't pay attention to them signs or you don't do that 24-hour rule, like I'm a big proponent of the 24-hour rule, even though I'm not, I'm guilty of not using it. And when I don't, I swear, let me tell you. I instantly regret it because there's some things that you cannot make decisions in an emotional state or in your feelings, particularly in business. And I think so many people make so many bad decisions because they make them in their feelings. They ain't looked at the facts. They didn't look at the optics. They didn't consider the full spectrum of what could be happening on the other side of the situation. And so they pay a price for it. And I'm definitely guilty of it. So at the end of the day, I just pray on something, and if I make a misstep or what have you, and I say, you know what, whatever's the best outcome is going to work out for my good. <laughs> At this point in my life, it's going to work out for my great, okay? Because we ain't even playing with it in 2024 going into 2025. The fact that we even can move that far and, and put things in place is a blessing. But I, I definitely recommend you really take the time to continue to work on your own personal habits getting up early having a plan and it ain't got to be a perfect plan don't be don't be a perfectionist like my ass and slow down the process do things to the best of your ability and watch the difference whether it be how you eat how you work out how you handle people you know it's we all got work to do but just Take the time and do it because before you know it, you're in 2025, 2026. Life is looking good. You've got your sexy back, your mindset on point, and you winning. And that's all Miss Ward wants you to do. I just want y'all to win, man. Please get out here and win. Miss Ward is signing off. I want y'all to have a great day and an even greater life. Let's go get it.